Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I make a simple part in SolidWorks and then bring it directly into Cura. Now this is going to be simple model in SolidWorks directly importing it into Cura so that there's no miscommunication on how you actually take a SolidWorks model or really any other 3D model and bring it into Cura. Nothing There'll be no confusion about file types or how you go about it. So we're just going to do it the old fashioned way, show you everything. So I'm just going to create a quick sketch. I like to make construction lines in both directions and mine didn't snap onto the origin that time, but there we go. And mine just doing a simple spacer. So it just has to be a certain height, a certain length. And it has to have a couple holes in it. So we're going to do one inch by five inch for now. And if we need to change it later, we can. But if you notice how SolidWorks has this little underdefined kind of thing right here, that lets you know that, hey, this isn't restrained. It can move around if you drag it and move it around. So what we're going to do, is we're going to add some constraints. So control clicking that edge, your center line, and the other edge gives you a whole bunch of relations over here. We're going to make this symmetric. Now that makes it so that it's symmetric across the center line. Now you can only do symmet symmetric constraints if they are construction lines, because if they are just a line, it doesn't see it that way. So now, whoops, accidentally hopped out of that sketch. Go back into this edit sketch. Now we're going to extrude it. So we're going to take this two dimensional sketch. As you can see, it has essentially zero thickness. We're going to extrude boss slash base. This needs to be three quarters of an inch tall. So that's what it's going to be. Three quarters of an inch. Now, the holes that I need to put through this are in a pattern of millimeters. So this bottom right hand corner down here, this is where your unit system is. I'm going to hop that over to millimeters. Go to sketch. Click on the face. So now we're sketching directly on the face of this model. If you hit spacebar, you can come to this view and it's kind of a quick snap to different views sort of setup. But we're just going to do this because this is the face we're sketching on. Do some more construction lines just to help everything be super nice and crisp. This is a hotkey. If you hold down your right click and move any direction, you can pull up a bunch of these little hotkeys. So a line, a circle, a rectangle. And that's your dimensioning tool. But now we're doing circles. I accidentally canceled the circles. Now circles. So my circles need to be 12 millimeters in diameter. Now you still have this underdefined because we need to tell how far apart these are. These are going to be 95 millimeters apart. But as you can see, it's still underdefined because you can still move it in this direction. If you snapped it onto the origin, it's now fully defined because it kind of made its own relationship to the origin. But we're going to control C and undo that. Control select my circle, my center line, my next circle. I didn't get the circle selected how I needed it to. And now we have symmetric. Symmetric also does things like diameters. So now I have an overdefined scenario, which overdefined is defined by these yellow things. We get rid of one of those, everything's happy again. SolidWorks can be really finicky when it comes to stuff like that, but usually it's a simple solution. So now we have our circle sketched. Now we need to get rid of the circles essentially. So instead of doing an extruded boss base, we're going to do an extruded cut. Now this blind is essentially a blind hole or a blind cut, and you can tell it how far you need it to go. And if you need it to go the opposite direction, you can click this little arrow and it'll flip the direction. But we don't need to do that because we can also just hit this through all button that makes it so whatever is a three dimensional piece in SolidWorks, it'll push that cut through all of it. So there's that. We click that. Now we have our essentially our spacer, but we're going to make this a little bit nicer. We're going to put some fillets on the edges. So you need to select that edge, that edge, and these two. 
You can change that to five millimeters just to make the radius a little bit smaller because we don't need to have big honking radiuses around here. Click that, boom, there is our nice radius. Now there's about 20 different ways to do the same thing within SolidWorks. So say, say we wanted to add our radiuses before we even extruded the part. So this is our kind of design tree, I think they call it. But now we can go back to our original sketch. If we really wanted to, this little tool up here is called a sketch fillet. If you click your corners, it'll add fillets in there before you even extrude a part. So now, hey look, we have our radiuses in the corners. And we say we exit that sketch, it's going to get really mad because now this fillet isn't actually cutting anything. But we're just going to control Z and undo that and everything's happy again. So now we're going to save this part off. Control S is the hotkey for it. And this becomes a transmission spacer. Now I've already done this once before and had audio bug out, so there's already another one there. But we're just going to save it like that again. Yes, we want to replace it. So now it is saved as a SolidWorks file, but the SolidWorks file isn't really any good for Cura because SolidWorks is a proprietary file. It doesn't integrate really well. So now what we need to do is we need to save it as a universal three-dimensional file, which is an STL file. Yes, we want to replace it. STLs work off of a function of triangles. So if you look really closely, all of these little lines are triangles. Even the ones that are cylindrical faces, they're triangles. So as you can see, 476 triangles make up this part that we're about to make. Save that off. So now we have it saved as a SOLIDWORKS file, but also an STL file. The STL is required to import into Cura. File, open, transmission, spacer. Now this is exactly what we just saved. Type stamps match 116, 116. Open that up. Here we go. Now our file that we literally just made 30 seconds ago is now into Cura. We're going to do a little bit here. Snap this around. Okay. Now this is ready for slicing as long as all of your settings over here are correct. I need this to be pretty strong. A lot stronger than the last print I did because it was only 20% fill. We're going to jump it up to 80. We're going to do... It's triangles. Triangles are strong. Let's do triangles. We're going to slice that. So now preview that file. And now we have our finished and sliced transmission spacer. So hopefully that is educational to you. Hopefully you can find some value in that. If you learned anything at all, or you want to stick around for more stuff. I'm going to try and do more tutorials on SolidWorks and Cura if necessary, and a lot more car stuff. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment. I'll do my best that I can to actually answer those in a useful way and not just kind of do this, do that. And if it's something that's really confusing, I'll make a video on it. So if you like it and you want to stick around for more, feel free to like comment subscribe do the guess the normal youtube things and if you want to stick around and see what else i come up with then hang around but besides that have a good day or night wherever you are and well just keep making stuff really